So what is the role of genetically engineered insulin? You know the use of insulin, right? It is used for managing the diabetes. So it is used to manage the adult onset diabetes. So insulin from the pancreas of animals, it is cattle and pigs, they causes allergy or other type of reactions to the foreign protein. So when this insulin is uh, inserted into the humans, what happens? It causes an allergic reactions and also other side effects. So now it is possible to produce human insulin using bacteria. So actually, if you take the structure of insulin, it consists of two short polypeptide. This is the A peptide and the B peptide, right? So these two peptides, that is two short polypeptide chains of chain A and chain B, and they are linked by disulfide bridges. So these are the disulfide bridges that are present. So in mammals, the insulin is synthesized as a pro-hormone. So first it is synthesized as a pro-hormone and it needs processing to become mature and the functional hormone. So the pro-hormone has to be converted to the functional hormone. That is the connecting peptide. The C peptide is removed or the cleaved. So this is the active or the mature insulin. So here the C peptide which connects the A chain and the B chain. So this is the A chain and this is the B chain and this is the free C peptide. That gray color one is the C peptide but that is removed during processing. Okay. So this pro-hormone, it contains an extra stretch called the C-peptide. So this is the C-peptide and this is removed during maturation into insulin. So if you take the structure of insulin, it has about 51 amino acids. And A chain is having about 21 amino acids and B chain has about 30 amino acids and that is a connective C peptide which is removed during processing. But in 1983, Ailey Lilly, that is an American company, they prepared two DNA sequences which are corresponding to A and B chains of human insulin. So they prepared the two DNA sequences and they were introduced into the plasmids of E. coli to produce insulin chain that is A chain and the B chains. So the main challenge is in now assembling the two chains. Here in the case of the pro-insulin, here it has the C peptide, right? So here the chains A and B were then combined separately by creating the disulfide bonds to form human insulin. So this company that Ellie Lilly, they prepared the A chain and the B chain separately and then they were introduced into the plasmids of E. coli to produce the insulin chains and then they were assembled by creating the disulfide bonds. So these are the disulfide bonds, right, to form a human insulin. So the insulin that is produced is called humulin that is produced by this genetic engineering. It is called humulin. 